I was young and I just brought my boyfriend to Mongolia. Nani? What the ass is this? <laughs> nah! Hold up! Hold up! Hi, I'm Brandon and I'm from the USA. Hi, I'm Sara and I'm from Mongolia. We met in South Korea. And this is our story. Hey guys, how's it going today? It's your boy Brandon. Sora. And today we have another amazing video for you guys. Today we're going to talk about interracial couple. Interracial couple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. We are Asian. Okay. I'm like and one for like one for it. <laughs> Nobody tells you you are Asian or not. Like, nobody knows that. <laughs> I don't claim it. <laughs> I am Asian mm -hmm. and you are American. Are you Asian or are you Eurasian? What? <laughs> <gasps> I'm Mongolian and you are Black American. I'm Trinidadian. Yeah, so. Trini Trinidadian American. Trini. 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 <laughs> Bruh. Our couple is weird mm. because technically we're both foreigners dating foreigners in Korea. And our nationalities are very super minority groups. So as an example, the largest foreign population in Korea is actually Chinese and other Asian passing people. Mm. So in Korea, I would never pass for a Korean. Even if I was mixed, even if I was 50% Korean, when you first look at me, you're still gonna think that's a black guy. Black. Black! That's the first thing you're going to say. I could be 50% anything. Black! Yeah. Until you hear me speak, you would think that I am African or something like that. But for you being Mongolian, you technically blend in. Everyone always is like, huh? You just look like Korean. Like, yeah, Mongolian. Like when I was a student, I lied. You told me you were a Korean? Yeah. <laughs> I really lied about my nationality because mm. people don't understand or like people ask dumb shit about being Mongolian. Do you know how to ride a horse or how do you pee? Like how do you pee? Yeah, what do you like mean? do you have a toilet or bathroom? <laughs> like, <laughs> like... Something like that stupid questions. I received that like all the time. Yeah, I was tired of dealing with that. When I tell them I'm Mon I'm from Mongolia, every questions I I received is the exact same things. I was tired to dealing with that stuff, so I just lied about that. So I'm like, I'm half, okay. uh, or like I'm Kyopor, something Kyopo. like that. Or I studied in overseas and I I came back to Korea like two mm. months ago or something like that. <laughs> but everyone believed that. Cause you speak Korean so good now, or I guess you spoke Korean so bad, but your face looked Korean. I don't no, know. No, like I was, I spoke Korean very, very well. Out of my friends, I was the best. I still speak in the same, same level. Maybe it got better. Maybe it got worse because of. I mean, you him. work. You work at a company, so yeah. Obviously. But but like, I feel like my speaking is getting worse because I speak three languages at the same time. Like my brain is broken. I just use the same phrases over and over. Even my Mongolian is bad, you know. I'm better. <laughs> but uh, I'm caught in a weird predicament because in Trinidad we're super multicultural country. Trinidad, yeah, we do have like our racial divides, but we're the same. You know, like I grew up eating Indian food every day. I never, my dad told me when he first came to America, that's when he found out he was black. He had friends that were white, Trinidadian. He had friends that were Chinese, Trinidadian. He had friends that Indian, Spanish, native mix, Trinidadian. When he came to America, black. What I was trying to say is, sometimes in America, people be like, why are you dating outside of your race? Some people be like, oh yeah, he's dating a white girl. He doesn't date his own kind. He doesn't date black girls. He doesn't date this. He doesn't date that. But I always heard that growing up. But for me, it's kind of like where I grew up. If I grew up in like a majority white area and all my friends are white, I don't know how it is for Mongolia. Mm -hmm. And if they're really just like, oh, why aren't you dating Mongolian? Mm -hmm. But like in America, people said it. 
but America is still a multicultural country, so if it happens, people don't care. Some people might say shit, but no one's gonna be like, I'm not gonna be your friend. I'm not gonna disown you for dating an Asian girl. I'm not gonna disown you for dating a white girl. No one cares. But then I came to Korea, 99, 98% of the population is Korean. 2% of the population is foreigner. Everybody's Asian. And I would see sometimes in like the Facebook groups and people would get mad at black guys for dating Koreans and then I'm just like what really yeah you never told me I, about I'd be I'd be looking at this and it doesn't make sense to me see a black guy dating a Korean girl or an Asian girl and be like sell out how you dating outside your race people are racist sometimes <laughs> <laughs> so international was, love who cares who you I was, date I was shocked you never told me about that I didn't know I thought it it's on the Asian stuff, like maybe Mongolian stuff. Yeah, it happened to me before, mm. and I got a trauma about that. Someone like, says some Yeah, I think every country, they just want their people marry each other. Yeah, it's like, a cultural thing, ethnic, yeah, religion to, ties. To not mix the blood. In Mongolia, this is like crazy. I know only the Mongolian community because I'm Mongolian and probably it's the same in Korea. If you have interracial relationship, girls only get the insult. Guys, they like, hey. Hey, good job man or hey. something like that. Yeah. It happens a lot and it happened to me before. Like when I went to Mongolia, I was like 20 or something like that. Oh, like, wait, I was like 10 years. I was, yeah, I was, I was young and I just brought my boyfriend to Mongolia. Nani? What the ass is this? <laughs> nah! Hold up! Hold up! Nah, 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 hold up, hold up, Vinny's. Nah, nah, nah. That was just like. You two, <laughs> white boy Billy? I don't even know the white boy name. What's his name? White boy Sam? You took. You. You took white boy Billy to Mongolia before me? Nope. Nah, I done. I done. Nah, 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 nah. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> You good? Nah, man, I'm mad. I'm mad. You took white boy. I don't even know the man's name, but you took white boy Billy to Mongolia. Uh, my ex boyfriend, he just traveled. He traveled a lot, and I was a student, and I went to Mongolia for my vacation. So he just visited me. <laughs> Back then, I was young, and I was I'm not, young and dumb. I'm like, not I was saying stupid anything. Girl, like, then continue your story. My my people, my my Mongolian brethren, ukme beno. I was walking with my boyfriend, like, not even ex boyfriend. Okay, ex. <laughs> I'm so petty. I'm so petty. I don't even care. I don't care. She's reminiscing, talking in third person past. Ex. It was like 19 years ago, we were walking on the street, main street, not even like small street. We didn't even hold a hand because I was careful and I was I was just a young girl. One drunken man passed us and saying like, you're a oh, man. like you are a h I was shocked. I was like panic attacked and like, what the f did he just say? And he didn't understand, right? I was like, I was almost crying. And I explained what happened. We couldn't do anything mm. because it just happened and he didn't understand, he didn't hear. Mm. And maybe the drunken man said it on purpose or mm -hmm. just like thought it laughter, you know? Then one day later, we were just going to see my friends. We were just walking, guys, they were driving a car and opened the, the window and yelling at him, like, you are a lucky fucking man. Uh. Get out of my country with her. Something like that. So that's what I experienced. I have trauma. I don't want to experience that anymore. It's still the same. Maybe it's getting better. Even you, you married to Mong Korean. There's all always haters. And International couples always get hate. Yeah. I know a lot of friends that are mixed couples. Maybe mm. Asian men or Asian women dating other mm. foreigners. There's always the comments. But I know like all mm. international couples in general. Mm. One group is always saying, why are you dating outside of your group? Date one of us, date one of your own people. My logic, when people say that, show me someone who's better mm. than the person that I'm with. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's no, no one. No, Probably I, there's someone. I mean, but... like, that's why people get divorced. People get divorced, they fall out of love, and then they find someone who's better than the person mm. they were dating before. Mm. So, theoretically, it's someone who's that comes up better than me, a thousand times better, mm. 
than me. You just take the best of you, the best you can get. They are just human, same human being. It's not about their races, it's just the same human. 99.98% same. The only thing that changes us is the melanin in our skin. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I work at a skin clinic and I know the melanin, how it works. You just have the, a lot of melanin. Yeah, that's, that's literally the only difference. I don't even know why we call it international relationship. This is a damn relationship. Love is love. Date who you want to date. I mean, if they're shorter, taller, darker, or lighter, the same gender, different gender, or whatever spectrum you're on. As long as you are in a consensual, legal, loving relationship, love is love. Okay, you guys, so this is part one of our international couple video. Stay tuned for part two. And um, if you guys like these type of videos, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and leave in the comments below what kind of videos you guys want us to make next. And if you're in an international couple or international relationship, leave in the comments below where you guys are both from. We would love to hear. Anyways, take care and bye. bye.